All right, guys, we are still in Canada. I just rolled into this gigantic mall to go to this spirit Halloween back here that is in an old Sears hardware. But first, look at this. We got a Sonic down. Get help quick, Sonic. Some small unlucky child just lost his brand new Sonic plush over in this parking lot here away from the spirit Halloween. So we're going to go ahead and set him right here by this pole, not by the bird poop, right over here. <laughs> we need to get Sonic back to his rightful owner. So if you own Sonic, come on down here and get him. And I'm also going to leave you a spirit of children bracelet and a handful of stickers. Please, if you do not own Sonic, do not come steal him from the very sad child who lost him. Spirits open, let's go! Pick me up in an hour. And now that that is handled, let's make our trek over here to the Spirit Halloween in the old Sears hardware store. This is a gigantic mall, guys. Every shopping center I have been to here in Canada is absolutely enormous. Look at this. I love the design of this building. This is so cool. And look at this. We have the Spirit trucks back in here, freshly delivering the awesome Spirit Halloween merchandise. I've been taking a bunch of pictures of this, trying to get just just the right angle so I can use this in my thumbnail. But man, I don't know, that's kind of difficult. That is an enormous sign. All right, let's go ahead in here, guys, and see what this store in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada has to offer. Why do I always grab the door that's locked? Wow, even from right here, this looks like an enormous store. I love how we got the spirit signs down here, the spirit signs over here. The automatic doors are already open. Wait, did you see how that TV right there just filmed me as I walked in? It was filming me as I was filming it. I am super excited, guys. This is one enormous store. Look at this. They got the entire carnival setup going on down throughout the galley. I just got the most awesome welcome to this store, guys. So very cool. The only thing she didn't say, which I was kind of expecting being in Canada, was, welcome to Spirit Halloween, eh? But that's okay. At least she didn't call me a hoser. But you know what? Let's go over here and look at these animatronics. First of all, we have two of the light-up ghost face. What is that child doing? We have a Slim here. Oh my gosh, some of the things I capture on this camera. We have two Barnaby Bears here. We have a man's possessed friend. I am actually really surprised that there is only one man's possessed friend sitting here. There has got to be more in this store. There's usually a whole plethora of man's possessed friend. We've got two Mr. Punchies here. Holy crap, look at this. We got Beetlejuice right over here. We got Beetlejuice set up right up here under the Spirit Hallows Cemetery sign. How cool is that? This is very peculiar because look, this almost looks like a stage. And then over here, there's this gigantic thing. I wonder if they're getting ready to set up something awesome and haunted on there, or if it actually is a stage. I am very, very intrigued by this. All right, we gotta come back over here for a second and check out this Beetlejuice setup because this is totally awesome. He's kind of quiet sitting up there because it's such a big store. But here is his box down here. And yeah, that's empty. That is actually the one that they have set up up there. Get out of here, you know, because I gotta tell you, this, uh, this, thing is this makes me want to go home right now and set up my Beetlejuice animatronic. All right, let's keep on moving around here, guys. See what else they have. All right, so I have it on good authority that this is for when they have the nightly fashion shows. Okay, I'm lying. I just asked, and this is actually where the escalator is. They had to do something to cover the escalator. So that was a very good idea, but how cool would it be if they had fashion shows 
with costumes. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. They actually have four Sam inflatables here. They are absolutely stocked with inflatables. Look at this. They have several of everyone, an entire plethora of everyone. We've got four of the gigantic Nightmare Before Christmas groundbreaking worms here. I love how he has the Christmas tree in his mouth. He's just munching away. We've got a demonic gatekeeper over here. We've got a cotton candy Dan. We've got two sitting scarecrows here. We've got an Emmeline here. Oh, here we go, guys. I knew there was going to be another man's possessed friend around here. We got a Dagger Mike. We have a Wanda Webworth. And look who we have on the other side here. The Black Heart. And look at this. The last store we were in had three giant death rays, and I couldn't believe they had three. They have four here. Three max straws, two fucking skull piles. Somebody just made a donation. And in just a minute here, we're going to walk down the entire boardwalk and look at all these animatronics. But let's keep on walking around here for a minute and see if there are any more that are kind of hidden in a corner. Just like the Beetlejuice, you never know when one might pop up. But wait a moment. Look at this guy. It's a daddy bear backpack. I doubt his name is really Daddy Bear. I can't read that because I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> but how cool is that? I love you, Daddy Bear. Oh my gosh, guys, this store is absolutely enormous. All right, let's keep on moving here. I don't see any other animatronics that I missed. We do have some sitting Sam dolls, some Annabelles here. Let's leave some stickers in these cauldrons here. We do have some life-size posable skeletons here. Wow, they got a lot of those. And we have, wait a minute here, we have empty soul girls on a swing. We got four of those. We got a couple of creepy crimson girls on swings. We got a couple of these ghost swings here. Self-powered ghost swings. Lots of zombie babies. And they have both the zombie baby's cradle and the zombie baby's chair. Wait a minute. I think this is a mask that I have never seen. What the heck, if I can get it out of there. Skeleton with chest. Check that out if I can get my shadow off of him. That actually looks pretty cool. Oh, look at this. They have the Jeepers Creepers mask up here. I'm not going to take that down. I'll never get it back up there. What is this? A half bot mask? That's like a Terminator. Oh, and it lights up. That's pretty cool. The Nighty Night mask. I haven't seen that one in a while. They have a giant selection of masks here. This entire store, even with how huge it is, is just stocked from one end to the other. Masks, weapons, accessories, blood, glasses, wigs, tutus. Seriously, they have tutus. I wonder if they have three threes. I love the mobster costumes. Look at this. We got the mobster kit. Guy's got a giant cigar. We've got the dapper gentleman and the white pinstripe mobster suit. I'm not even kidding. I saw this out of the corner of my eye and I thought it said sweet child of mine. Look at us. They have all of the new light covers. We got the skeleton. We got the purple hair clown, the secret keeping cat, and the pumpkin. Well, wait a minute. Here's some things I haven't seen. The pop open pumpkin and the pop open ghost. These look to be like paper lanterns, if I can get it off there. That's exactly what it is. It's a little paper lantern. It pops open and you put an LED light in it. Oh, I guess it actually comes with the LED light. That's cool. And the ghost is probably the same thing here. I don't know if that's a paper lantern inside there or not, but it comes with the LED light. Secret keeping cat silhouettes for your yard. Oh, I almost missed all the jumping spiders here. Let's see, do they have them all? We got a gray here, a black, we got a brown. Do we have that? Yep, we got the black and red also. All right, let's come over here and talk to this guy real quick because he just will not stop talking. Hello, Nibbles. <laughs> <laughs> I love how as soon as I said that, he turned to me and laughed. Let's go ahead and leave some stickers for Emily and Victor here. A couple for Bobby Strings. Some for the sitting Scarecrow. Ah, he's not... Oh, he has a, a foot pad here. A foot pedal, whatever you call it. <laughs> All right, we're back up at the front here, guys. Let's go ahead and get through the carnival here. Now, hold on. It's a little bit darker in here, so maybe we will be able to see this guy's chest display. All right, here we go. He's getting ready. Hold on. Here comes the shack attack. <laughs> yeah, we can see it a little bit better in here. 
it's still pretty bright in here, but we can definitely see it better than any of the other stores. This sign looks absolutely awesome since it's a little bit darker in here. And we got Ghostface going over here already. We got Steven Seagull down here. Let's go on through the carnival. Let's just take for a second here to look at these awesome blinking lights. That is so very cool. Hello, Mr. One-Eye. All right, let's... Oh, Dark Princess, she's on the sensor. She just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I did not expect her to jump up. I almost actually called her the Dark Angel. I keep wanting to say that, but it's the Dark Princess. Very good job scaring me, Dark Princess. All right, we'll come back around to Tallulah. We got somebody else spinning the wheel here, but we're gonna go ahead and leave her some stickers. There you go, ma'am. This is a very busy store, guys, and I absolutely love it. All right, let's come on over here to Max Straw. We can get him going. Come on, Mac. <laughs> Guys, it would be super easy to make a Max Straw costume. Look at this. All you have to do is get a grass skirt, like a Hawaiian grass skirt, a little bit of burlap or a paper bag to make the mask, a hat, and a pitchfork. Not a real pitchfork. You know what? Just because I said that, now we have to go see if they sell pitchforks. Where did I see the weapons? The weapons of mass destruction. I don't see any pitchforks in here. I do see the secret keeping cats. What do you think about my shirt, sir? And as usual, he's keeping that information a secret. I do see scabs and carrot best friends forever. Oh, that's right. Weapons are right back here. All right, let's see if they have any pitchforks. I, well, I mean, they do have the devil's pitchfork here, but that's not really what we're looking for. Wait a minute. Here it is. Here we go pitchfork. You can officially dress up as Mac Straw. And really, you could probably just get a regular costume and then make the face. You'd have to, I don't know, like I said, maybe a paper bag or some burlap or something, but you could totally be Mac Straw for Halloween. All right, let's come on over here and get the giant death ray going. Come on, death ray. Oh, that's cool how they have his arm way up like that. He's pretty loud in this store too, very cool. We got the cremator going on over here. Let's get Art going, come on Art. And back around to the fun house. Let's go ahead and go through the fun house first. Here we go. The yummy smell of cotton candy. All right, I hate to walk through so fast, just in case this is your first time watching any of my videos and seeing Spirit Halloween through the eyes of mine as we walk through the fun house. Look at this guy. And these mirrors are crazy because I'm actually really tall and skinny. Okay, that was a lie too. <laughs> Before donuts, after donuts. All right, let's get out of here and look at the animatronics that are set up over here. I can already hear these two going on. We got Emily and Victor. Now I can do the same for you. Wow, she is really loud in here. With this candle, I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. All right, back over here to Barnaby Bear. Come on, Barnaby. We got a gray jumping spider over here. Usually you see the black or the black and red. All right, sir. I've never petted a spider in Canada before. We got bobby strings going on over here already. All right, let's come on over here and get cotton candy. Dan, I've been in so many stores, I can't even remember if I've got these guys going or not. Uh-oh, cotton candy Dan? Cotton Candy Dan is on a break. Dan's on a cotton candy break. Wanda Webworth. So remember the other store, these little feelers here were like going crazy? Look at the plethora 
of eyes on Wanda Webworth. All right, and that brings us all the way back over to Nibbles, who we talked to earlier. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, I think we've been through pretty much the entire store. Obviously, we haven't looked at everything in the entire store because this place is absolutely enormous. But for my last store that I am filming today, it goes out with a bang because this place is awesome and huge and stocked to the brim or the top of the coffin. One more look here at Mr. Beetlejuice before we go. Yeah, I'm feeling a little uh, anxious, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where a guy, an everyday Joe like myself. Oh wait, we can't leave yet. I don't think I've left any stickers in the bucket. The bucket, the bucket, the bucket. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>